rival, the Boston College Eagles. It's the Hockey East game of the week on Destin Plus. What's up, guys? George Belecci here. Now we're in Chestnut Hill. You know what that means. In Boston College's hockey facilities. I got my guys Eamon and Gentry with me. They've been here. They're upperclassmen. They know the facilities better than anybody. So let's get the tour started, boys. Right, go to the middle. This is usually the hallway leading into games. We'll this come is in this way. Alistair's pictures uh, yeah. over at the end of the hallway. Suit walks, you Suit know. Suit walks, exactly. <laughs> oh, I like that. You see, uh, see up on the wall here all the national championships, uh, 1949, 2001, 2008, 2010, 2012. Um, these are all the captains, obviously, from those teams, and then um, the rings as well on the pucks. Um, so, obviously, uh, each and every year, you're, you're striving to get one of those. So, it's a nice, it's a nice, friendly reminder every day, and sort of motivator. Keep, yeah. keep us pushing. You know. Exactly. Yeah, I know Brownie's upholding that now. So let's go yeah, check out the lock. Exactly. Most do important it. room. Oh yeah. Home away from home. Man, all right. So, I mean, before we get to locker room. Obviously, tools of the trade. Oh yeah. Most important thing, Eamon. We just switched over to Warrior um, about three years ago um, from Bowers, so we've been using that ever since. They do a good job. They got the BC logo here. They got obviously the maroon and gold. Yeah, for me, uh, I've always been around like a 75 flex. It's just comfortability out there and what I feel most comfortable with. So that's obviously a big thing when it comes to your stick. Got Warrior taking care of you guys. And what I see too, you come, you grab your stick before you head out on the ice. Boom, right here. This is just as you're walking in and out of the locker room, like you come in here and you spend so much time in here. These numbers are just sort of a friendly reminder about the legacy and the weight that you carry on your shoulders when you wear a BC jersey. That's what the best part of, of being a Boston College Eagle is. Um, you always have a chance to win, so. And what I like about this, obviously the reminder for your team goals, the rocks around it, they can just throw in that sign up. It's kind of homage to what you see around campus in BC all the time. Imagine the exterior. Yeah, the, the architecture on campus, I mean, I, it's unfortunate you guys can't do a full campus tour because it is all equally as beautiful as everything in here. So we're pretty grateful. That's, that's where, you know, you gotta go sit in class for however long. It's, at, least it's, at least it looks nice, right? <laughs> All right, so now we're walking into the equipment manager office. How often do you guys pop in here? Hey, my blades need sharpening. My stick's a little <laughs> wonky. How, uh, probably how more often than Krenner likes, but... Uh, uh, take me through your office. It's just, it's a meeting of Home Depot, and then, yeah. I don't know, it's just, it's great. We're doing a lot of inventory right now and getting everything squared away. All the new uniforms, yeah. practice. Give them a sneak piece. peek of the, the Fenway ones. Yeah. Go ahead, right, right down right there. Yeah. What well, was like that? You know, you're playing on a big stage ODR, but then you break these out too. Obviously, uh, just really excited. Um, those unis are, are really clean, and obviously playing at Fenway uh, itself was was unbelievable. Um, and then rocking those uniforms too, those throwbacks. Uh, everyone was super pumped, and to get the win was even better. So. Finally in locker room. Man, I love the setup. Cool in here. Yeah, it's nice. nice. Good Smells temperature. good, which is <laughs> poor for hockey Rising. season. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Uh -huh. Something cool, obviously, and this is what grabbed my eye walking in right away. The BC logo up top. Yeah, the logo is beautiful, and it's always lit too. So it's always nice to sort of just have it as like the centerpiece. Um, you know, there's BC logos all over the place, but this one is a commanding presence, definitely. I, I like it on the ceiling as well. Obviously, there's a old kind of ritual in the locker room where it's always on the floor and no one touches it. So it's kind of nice uh, having it on the ceiling. Don't have to worry about stepping on it or yeah. anything like that. Yeah. So it's so like all these prongs that you put all your gear on right here. It's all ventilated. They'll turn the fans on and pump through it all. Uh, in the back, you got these fans just behind your helmet. Same thing just behind my elbow pads here. It's like this is our home. This is like your room inside the home kind of. Spent a lot of time talking with the boys right here too, so it's part of the best best part. Sometimes after practice, come down and just sit here for like four or five minutes. <laughs> like don't yeah. move. <laughs> Marinate in your cell. Yeah. That kind of connects to this smart board where they could use Exos software. They pull a bunch of our clips, whether it be from our games or NHL clips, whatever it may be. Ton of teaching, um, and then on the smart board itself, we see 
um, a lot of times before practice. We'll, we'll go over whatever zones we need to, and he'll use these as you know opposing team and team four. Um, they see and hear how insulated it is and tech like that. Helps you guys out, perform the best on game day. Yeah, yeah it's definitely important, and uh, we're super grateful to have it. I mean, that's this is hands down the most advanced film setup that I've ever had, you know. And All right, so connected, man. Respect the tradition. Hobie Baker's wall up there. The lockers, NHL stand. All right, you guys take me through this. I'm listing it off, but this place is sick. <laughs> so you know the board, respecting the tradition. Uh, it's a big picture of the of BCBU, which is obviously you know a huge tradition here. From County Forum in Chestnut Hill, we renew college hockey's best rivalry. And then, uh, you know we've got all of our individual achievements. Uh, outside was the team achievements, and these are all the all the great things that any individual hockey player has done. At, at uh, you obviously got a picture. Hayes and Goudreau up there, all BC logoed, uh, you know, seating and table and custom BC bubble hockey. These uh, these games get pretty heated. <laughs> Had a tournament a couple years ago. Yeah. Who won it? I think it was uh, one of our managers. I think it was one of our managers because he's always in there playing there in yeah. practice. Yeah, he has the time. <laughs> yeah, well, you guys are practicing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I like this. What's standing behind me? Obviously, you got the NHL wall. All the guys that have made it to the show. Nikita's name jumps out at me, and obviously McLaughlin. His debut for the Bees was epic. McLaughlin! The first goal for the Bill Rickett kid! Oh, yeah. yeah, we were all at that game. That was, that was awesome to see him score in his first game. Obviously, hometown kid. Um, and he was obviously a two-year captain. He was unbelievable. He was there our freshman and, and sophomore year. It's just a really cool experience to just watch these guys go on and be successful. I think we've been seven or eight guys since we've been here in the past three years that have gone and played. So, yeah, now literally walking distance from the locker room, boom, hop into the shooting room. You can't get onto the ice, you can get in here. Yeah. Pretty self-explanatory, guys just hop in here, get some extra work, stick handling, shooting. This is also, I just wanted to add, it's this full, it's Bluetooth surround sound in here, which is really nice, connect in the penalty boxes, a little Bluetooth apparatus. It's all close by, it's freely accessible, um, which is really nice. So I know you guys are going to take me to the trophy case, but walking out here, boom, just pops. It's beautiful, right? Yeah, I mean, the magnitude of it is really what stands out. Like, it's obviously got a lot of size to it, but there's, you know, it's the lights, it's the banners, it's the eagles all around. You'll notice, like, even in the seats, there's like a gray BC sort of sewn into the yellow. There's logos everywhere. There's a, it's just, it's all sort of a testament to the legacy that we've been talking about today. Yeah, so this whole uh, this whole panel here is ours. Um, obviously, you can see a lot of hockey, championships, uh, national championships, um, a lot of pictures. Obviously, Coach York, Goudreau, Dumoulin, you see there. Um, so just a lot of history. It all comes together really nicely. <laughs> when you guys were getting recruited, how important were the facilities here at BC for both of you making your decision? Yeah, I think it's, it's a big part. I think every kid... Uh, kind of going around recruiting visits is always looking like oh what does this program have that maybe some other programs don't have this and that and obviously BC's always had a legacy of, of kind of being good on the ice and whatnot so you kind of knew what they were all about um, then seeing how they take care of their players and how they treat them um, and all the all the things and resources that are kind of available to them uh, just made my decision at least that much easier. Yeah, I mean, uh, I couldn't agree more. Like, it was just a no-brainer for me between academically how good the school is and then how good the program is and then tack on top of that the facilities and, and the campus itself. It couldn't have been an easier decision, honestly.